Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the entity relationship diagram. So what is this entity relationship diagram? We call it as ER diagrams. This ER diagrams, it is a systematic way. It is a systematic way of describing and defining a business process. So to describe and design a business process, we need one systematic way. That systematic way is the entity relationship diagram. So the process is modeled as component entities that are linked with each other. So whatever that is there in this uh, with each other by relationships that express the dependency and requirements between them. So different entities will be there means different persons will be there. So a communication between those persons can be represented by using entity relationship diagram. Here the entities, entities may have, have various properties that you call it as attributes. Each entities have various properties and attributes that characterize them. And this diagram is going to create a uh, cre diagram created to represent these entities, attributes and relationships. Let me write that. A diagram created to represent these entities. So whatever the entities that we are using, these entities, these attributes, and relationships between those entities and relationships graphically or called graphically or called entity relationship diagram So the entity relationship diagram is nothing but uh, it is going to represent the entities, attributes and relationships graphically or called entity relationship diagram. So the main use of this entity relationship diagram, it is a systematic way of describing and defining the business process. So what is an entity exactly? An entity is nothing but an entity may be you call is maybe a person the entity may be a person place or thing you call that entity may be a person place or a thing or it may be it may be an event not only a single person, single place, single thing. It's just entity. Sometimes it may be an event also. Event like the month uh, and the sales period and the machine breakdown means some action that has performed that as an entity. A relationship is associated that describes the interaction among entities. So uh, here a relationship will be used to associate that describes the interaction among those entities. Now let me uh, explain the different entity relationship diagrams. So first one is one to one entity relationship diagram. One to one entity relationship diagram. So let us take here an employee was there. Employee. And here the phone extension will be there phone extension okay so here the employee is assigned to an extension the employee is assigned to an ex extension assigned to phone extension and the phone extension the 
the phone extension is listed for employee is listed for employee so what is saying that so here one employee is assigned to only one phone extension one employee assigned to one phone extension because he can only talk uh, once means if you are talking in one phone you are not supposed to take another call so one employee is assigned to only one phone extension whereas here one phone extension one phone extension is listed for one employee So only one phone extension is listed for only one employee and one employee is assigned to only one phone extension. So this show explains the one to one relationship, one to one entity relationship diagram. So this is an entity, employee is an entity, phone extension is an entity. So here uh, this explains the uh, entity relationship diagram that is a one to one. Now let us see the second many to one. The second one is many to one entity relationship diagram so here i am taking employee and department employee and department as two entities so here a communication between these And this department is going to communicate with the employee. So here employee is a member of a department. Is a member of a department. In a department there are so many employees. So many to one. Many employees are working in a single department. Many to one. Many employees are work in a single department. Suppose different sectors are there. IT sector. HR sector, so different sector, administrative sector, uh, so different sectors will be there in any organization. So each department is having set of employees. So a number of employees are working in a single department. So employee is a member of a department. Whereas department contains employees. Department contains employees. Employee is a member of department. So here it's saying that employee, many employees or member of depart, members of department, many employees or members of department. And here one department, one department contains many employees. So this shows the many to one relationship. One, uh, one department contains many employees. So many employees can work in one department. So this can be also represented by using the class diagrams. Let me show you that. And the way of representing this entity relationship diagram is like this. A person will be there. So this is another another example person will be represented with it's a primary key a single person with person id id as a primary key here person id first name last name so these are the details of the person single person city id and birth date so these are the details of any person so a single person and here you are having a, another class. So that is a city. Primary key was the city ID. Because it is unique. City ID. And here I am writing city name. And total number of population. 
so this is a single a persons a group of persons and their details and a city in a city there are many persons can live many people can live in a single city many to one okay so this can be represented by using entity relationship diagram like showing the relation here so this symbol indicates many many to one many persons lives in a single city many and this is a relationship one so here lives in many persons lives in a city so this indicates a relationship so you can draw the diagram like in this way many to one can be represented like this it is the data flow diagram or you can represent like this so by using the class diagrams so this is about the entity relationship diagrams thank you